Hello. Today we will talk about the financial time series use case in an AI ML infrastructure. In this demo, we will use the power of AI and deep neural networks to elaborate a model that will try to predict whether the S&P 500 market index will close positive or negative based on historical information from the stock market. Financial markets are increasingly global. You can use information from an earlier time zone to your advantage in a later time zone. To be able to construct this model and make it available for financial market services, for example, we will realize several steps. First of all, we will obtain data for a number of financial markets from a data store and merge it into a usable format. Then, we will use TensorFlow to build and train models for predicting what will happen in financial markets. Then, we will send trained data to an object store system. Finally, we will serve the training model using TensorFlow serving into a distributed messaging bus. To be able to achieve our purpose, we will need uh, an infrastructure that provides those different services. A bare metal provisioning service like MAV, a model-driven deployment and operations, which will be Juju, a data store like Elasticsearch, a distributed messaging bus that will be provided by Kafka, an unstructured data object storage provided by Ceph, and an AI ML platform provided by Kubeflow. To be able to provide those services, we will need at least one uh, machine for mass, one machine for Juju, two uh, machine for Elasticsearch, one for Kafka, one for Zookeeper, two for Kubernetes Master, and four for Kubernetes Workers. Basically, our architecture can be modeled as follows. What is inside the dashed box represents a Juju environment or a Juju model. The Elasticsearch case and Kafka services will be deployed on top of virtual machines that are provisioned by mass. Kubeflow and TensorFlow serving services will be deployed on top of Kubernetes. Basically, Elasticsearch will be used to store the raw data that will be used to train our model. Case will be used to run Kubeflow platform and the TensorFlow serving. Ceph will be used mainly as an object storage system to store our trained model. And Kafka will act as, as a messaging bus between the model server and the client applications. This is the workflow of our demo use case. Basically, we will start by running a Kubeflow pipeline. First of all, the pipeline will download raw data from Elasticsearch and pre-process it. Then it will train a neural network model with the pre-processed data. Finally, the pipeline will upload the result model into an S3 object uh, uh, store inside Ceph. We will then deploy a TensorFlow model, uh, TensorFlow server, excuse me, that will download the trained model from the Ceph S3 bucket and will serve it through Kafka. Finally, we will test a script to predict whether S&P 500 stock market will close positive or negative based on information from other stock markets. As we have seen earlier, uh, the whole the whole demo is deployed on top of a virtual machine. Those virtual machine are managed by mass. So we can see the virtual machine used for this demo, uh, like the Juju virtual machine, Elasticsearch, the master and the worker nodes, and also the Kafka node. Uh, this is uh, the whole environment managed by mass. We can also see uh, the environment deployed by Juju. Here is uh, the uh, the Kubernetes and Ceph environment. So we can see uh, the Kubernetes workers, uh, Charm, uh, Ceph monitors, uh, the OSD, and the Ceph Redis gateway for uh, for the S3 uh, object storage. The Kafka environment, uh, where we can see like uh, Kafka messaging bus service, uh, Zookeeper as a backend. Uh, the Kubeflow environment, which is deployed on top of Kubernetes, we can see all the Kubeflow component like uh, Jupyter Hub, uh, the pipelines, uh, for example, index for authentication, and the uh, the data store 
uh, environment, which is Elasticsearch. Let's start uh, uh, running our demo now. Uh, we, we begin by accessing the Kubeflow central dashboard and uh, from where we can access all the Kubeflow components like uh, pipeline, the notebook and Catlib. So we will run our demo uh, with the uh, Kubeflow pipelines. Uh, so let's create a, a new pipeline from uh, the financial time series uh, project or pipeline. We create a run here. And uh, for for this demo, we will choose which bucket, for example, called my my bucket, uh, where we will store our uh, model, the Elasticsearch address, which will be this one, the Redis Gateway. Uh, Seth Fred's gateway endpoint, which will be this address. The S3 access key. And the S3 secret key. started so uh, so the uh, the pipeline is started right now it will create uh, a container or a pod for each for each step of the pipeline The execution of the pipeline has been finished. We can see all the, the steps of the pipeline has, uh, has been run successfully. Uh, we can access uh, the log of each, uh, of each step to see uh, what has been run in this step. We can see in the pre-process uh, step that we downloaded the data from Elasticsearch uh, and push it locally. Uh, for the training step, we can see that uh, we are uh, we are doing uh, a training for our model based on the data, uh, and we achieved the uh, accuracy uh, with seventy two percent. And the final step is uh, deploying the uh, the uh, result model into the uh, S three bucket. Now let's check if the S three bucket contains the uh, the the model the result model. We can access it through uh, the S3 command. All right, so we have we have our uh, trained model in the S3 bucket. Now we will uh, we will deploy the TensorFlow serving uh, to to be able to serve this model. So let's configure it. So we will configure it uh, using the uh, the bucket name uh, that uh, the TensorFlow serving will access, uh, the S3 endpoint URL, the Kafka IP uh, from where uh, it will serve the, uh, the the new model, and we will deploy uh, the the TF serving charm using uh, this configuration. So let's deploy it. So now we see that a new model called serving has been added to the Juju uh, models and the charm, uh, the TF serving charm has been deployed. We can watch the progress of the deployment uh, using uh, Juju command. So uh, the, the charm is deploying on top of Kubernetes. The TensorFlow serving service uh, has been deployed correctly. We can see uh, 
here that uh, the TensorFlow serving unit is in active state. We can also check the uh, state of the Kafka model. So everything here is uh, is deployed and works uh, correctly. We can now uh, try to uh, to run a test with the with the financial application. Here we can uh, we will access our tester machine and run uh, the finance application. Uh, so basically, this application will send uh, will send data about uh, the closing uh, closing data of this, those financial markets and try to uh, uh, and want a prediction uh, whether uh, the S&P 500 will uh, will close positively uh, positive or negative. And we got a response from the TensorFlow serving that the S&P 500, 500 will close positive. Thank you for watching this demo and uh, see you in another demo. Bye.